What's up, YouTube? This is Star Wolf. Good morning, everybody. Look, check this out. I was sitting back thinking, and I was just observing a lot of things that's going on uh, concerning this coronavirus. I know it has a lot of people scared. A lot of people are panicking. Some people don't believe it's true. Most believe that it is true. My question to everybody is, do you think this is a hoax? Do you do you feel that the coronavirus is a hoax? Because look, I was watching the news last week. I was watching the live updates and one of one of one of the officials, that's one of the head officials that uh keep giving information on the coronavirus stated that the virus is not even airborne. So there's no need for masks. Now, my question is if it's not airborne and there's there's no need for masks, one, who the hell put that information out for everybody to even wear masks? And two, if it's not airborne, then how are people coming in contact with it? We need to know how do you come in contact with it and how can we uh, stop the spread? Now, he didn't go into that. Although that question was asked, it was posed to him. He didn't he didn't go into that, which lets me know that, OK, from the beginning, I already know that it was lies and it's bullshit. Now, the way I think, the way my thinking is set up, I'm like this. What if it's something else, some type of chemical or biological weapon that was unleashed to see how? the world would respond to it or it was just unleashed on accident or whatever whatever you may think whatever you may feel accident purpose whatever and it's not even a coronavirus what if, what if they don't even have a cure for this what if it's not even a coronavirus and it's just one of these flus one of these strains of flus that they come out with every year and they testing it to see how people's bodies will respond and it's not responding well like they wanted it to so they're calling it the coronavirus because they don't want to uh they w they don't want the, the 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 world to go into panic see me I, I think of things like that and i believe that that's exactly what's going on you know um they said that black people i, I spoke on this before they said that black people you know, people was going around on social media talking about scientists said that black people, you know, weren't susceptible to this disease. They can't catch this disease, which I know is false because due to our melanin, you know, if our melanin is that strong, which it is, you know, why come it won't stop any other disease? Why come, you know, it won't stop the common cold? Why come it won't stop regular flus? Why come it won't stop diabetes or anything like that? Any other disease? So I don't believe all that. Anyway, I don't. I don't believe it. And you know, I have, you know, I have people everywhere. I have sources everywhere. And uh, I have found out over the weekend that this young black uh, female had came in contact with the coronavirus. She caught the virus. She was in Las Vegas, and she came to Alabama. So she came through the emergency room in Alabama and with the coronavirus. So I don't know if they quarantined her or not, but uh, yes, black people can catch it. And they're just not putting that on the news. They don't want to alarm people. They don't want people to go into panic because if you look at the news, you don't even really have to look at the news. Just go into your local uh, supermarkets, go into the grocery stores and, you know, medicine is flying off the shelves. You know, they have a limited supply of medicine. The water is being uh, purchased at alarming rate. Food, you know, people, people. This is the same thing that happened in the uh, year 2000 when they said that, uh, I forget, when they said the world was going to end or something like that. And, you know, everybody went to the grocery stores buying up everything. So I'm just wondering if this coronavirus uh pandemonium is uh 
actually a hoax because they do have programs. I don't know if anybody is familiar with the uh, Tavistock industry and the Stanford Institute. They have programs where they actually uh, put into place. They, 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 what, what I'm trying to say is they put into place, they do little, they do little experiments where they experiment on the world. Sometimes they just exper do experiments in, in different cities or different small towns to see how the public will respond and react to what they're doing. You know, sometimes the experiments is done in magazines. You know, they put out uh, uh, fictitious articles and people read them so they want to see how people respond. They do this with diseases. You know, so I don't know if this is one of their experiments where they seeing, you know, if they this is mind control at its best. I could tell you that. So I don't know if this is just another one of their experiments. You know, if you're not familiar with what I just said, go and research it and Google it. You know, look up FEMA. Look up FEMA and see how FEMA originated. See what they really about, because it's not. It's, it's, it's not for uh, emergency. It's not for emergency response. It's not to help the public, although that's what is put into uh, the public's eyes in the media. Go research that and you'll see, you know, FEMA originated as, you know, they have bomb experts. They have bomb experts. It is a it originated from uh, people in the military that deals with bombs explosive experts that's why in new orleans during hurricane katrina the levees was blew up and they said the levees broke but they was actually blew up and fema was there first but anyway that's another story but uh yeah this coronavirus uh and look here they have a uh, the game shows that you see on TV like Jeopardy and other game shows, they're starting to give people masks and they shutting a lot of game shows down. They shutting the cruise. They shut. If you're trying to take a cruise anywhere out the country, they're shutting them down. Uh, many businesses is being shut down. The stock market, that's about to crash. It might send us into a recession, into a deep depression. Um, strippers. They're giving strippers masks. They're giving people. They're giving the uh, people that come in, the patrons. They're giving them uh, masks, hand sanitizer. You know, businesses. Businesses want their businesses to keep operating. And you know, I, that's kind of strange. That's kind of funny to me. Go off in the strip club. Everybody have on masks, hand sanitizer. They still stripping. I mean, they should put, they should sanitize the poles and everything anyway, but it's just, it has everybody in an uproar. Everybody is scared and terrified right now. So I don't know. I just want to know, is it within your mind? Because there's a lot of people that's walking around. Everybody is scared of people that's sneezing, coughing. And, and pretty soon I could tell you what's going to happen. If it's very, very real, something is real. Something is going on. People are catching something. I don't know if it's the coronavirus. I don't know what disease it is, but they catching something and it's very bad. It's killing people. I don't know. You could put a title. You could put a title on anything. I don't know if it's the coronavirus, but I could tell you this. They catching something. They done unleash something and they planning something big. That's why they put all the gun laws into effect to take the guns out of especially the American people's hands. They don't want the guns. They don't want the weapons inside their homes because they're going to uh, not quarantine people, but how you uh, how you zoned off your area code. I mean, your zip codes and how you zoned off martial law, implement martial law, you know, and they starting that in some of the countries. They've been lying about the number. Look, the numbers, you cannot get the numbers right. You cannot get the numbers right on this disease for the simple reason. Here's, here's the reason why. 
if you have somebody that comes in contact with the disease and they catch it, there's no way for you to know who they came in contact with. So that means the, the disease is steadily growing. You come in contact with 10 people, maybe three people catch that. Then one of those persons hop on an airplane and go to another city. And then those other two go and to another city or they may go to the grocery store or whatever it just keeps going and going and going it keeps growing so for them to come on and say okay only 50,000 people may have came in contact with it that's a lie the numbers keep growing and growing and growing unless you can pinpoint everybody who has it and it's impossible to do that because it keeps growing unless you quarantine everybody and knew exactly everybody and eradicate the disease right there on the spot, there's no way to know. So the numbers keep growing. They just don't want to alarm the public, you know? So we're going to see, we're going to see what's going on. I'll keep everybody updated, keep you abreast of the situation. I'm pretty sure you're looking at your local news. I'm pretty sure that you're looking on social media, see what's going on, you know? I mean, the best, the best thing I could tell you to do is just stay clean. Keep washing your hands. You come in contact with anybody you see sneezing or coughing, do like you would normally do. Walk away. Cover your face. Because, like I said, I don't know if this is the coronavirus or not. What I do know is that they definitely probably experimenting. They about to put something into effect, something big. Probably about to strip everybody from all of these uh, laws that they gave anyway. Strip you from your man-made rights. They about to just start doing what they've been wanting to do anyway. You know, population control, depopulate. That's all it's about. So, you know, make sure you go research. Go research what I had told y'all earlier in the video. Go check that out. This ain't nothing I'm making up or thinking about or hoping or speculating on this is facts actual facts anyway i'm star wolf if you're new to my channel i appreciate you for tuning in make sure you hit that subscribe button on the way out make sure you hit that like button and that notification bell so you can get my videos when they drop and make sure you share my videos with everybody on social media on all social media platforms peace